Hello, everybody. And what we're going to talk about today is some deep stuff. Um, what happened to your divine invention, your incredible idea, um, regardless of when you created it? What happened to it? Um, how come it didn't manifest and this and so forth? So we'll get right into it. What happened to your divine idea is the is it was actually stolen. It was stolen from aliens, interdimensional beings, those that come in and out of portals and you do not see them because they are, they are in etheric form. That's what happened. There are certain beings that come here and literally hover around you, hover in your area. And you say, why would they do that? Um, because of me, because you are a star seed. You was in a galactic battle with them. So you are not friends with them. You are enemies of them. And you have something inside of you that they cannot produce, which is light. You produce the creations. You produce the information. You produce those things. You are more than an interdimensional being. You are star seed beyond. You are like the first, the original, you know, that's you. So when you spark these ideas, regardless of where you are, they are there harbingers to take and they take them to their dimension. And then what you'll find is for some reason, you no longer want to do that. That's because they're working on your mental body where you're no longer interested in that thing. But then after a while, you'll find somehow, some way, maybe another color come up with your idea, but it was yours. And you wonder, you say to yourself, how did they do that? I never told them about that. Where did they get that from? Because of these beings that hang around in the etheric and steal all your ideas. They cannot create on their own. They do not create on their own. All of the things that you see around you, guess what? You created. You made your augmented reality. You made your simulation you. But due to the ongoing battle, it's a mental, it's, it's not a mental game. It's a mental war within yourself. And not just within. We get confused when we say, oh, it's only in. No, it's out. But only one side gets to see the other. And when you're in this, this dense mass, you don't see the conflict. You don't see which side is winning. You know, it has nothing to do with your religion. It has nothing to do with what spirituality or what the, the, you follow this or you follow that. You will always be a star seed no matter what you do. There is nothing in this space that can take that from you. That is your identity. That is your legacy. And what has been happening is someone has been taking what is rightfully yours. When you got here, you were supposed to have jewels and riches and easiness and energy was supposed to flow. Believe it or not, you wouldn't see that. You wouldn't believe that because some of the things that you see that's going around, it don't flow like that for you. And even if it does, how often does it last? No, it never lasts. It seems like it comes every now and again, but it's always a consequence and always something that you have to go through or something that you have to face regardless. And why is it like that? Why would it be like that? It's because it's an ongoing battle for the light. The light is the creator. The light is what creates everything. And that is you. They will always be against you. No matter what. And you can kind of see them around you by. I would say this. You can see your items all around you. If you don't have this and something else is. is kind of growing. I don't care if you see this big old whatever and if it doesn't have and if you don't have that same amount of monetary value something is wrong because you came here with and you were supposed to have it it is yours 
it was supposed to be yours. And it goes on, it goes far beyond just this material. And you may sit there and you may think sometimes, what am I doing wrong? I'm doing something wrong. I have to be doing something wrong because my life is going like this and my life is going like that. No, when you enter this thing, they entered with you. And they was not allies. They are beings and harbingers that go around and steal your ideas. Steal your monetary value. Suck your energy. That's where they get their energetic vampires. But they are so much more. They are mental monsters. They don't feel light. They just want it to create. You want it because it fills you with love and you know how to use it and spread it around you. But they don't. They don't. They just know how to just use and abuse and create. And everything that they create, you guys, if you went to some of their dimensions and some of their worlds and things like that, it's nothing but cold and desolate. Everything that they say about hell comes from their space. Some of the things that you see on TV and you be like, I don't understand why they like this scary stuff. I don't understand why they have twisted it and made it look like that. You are a love being. A star seed from the stars far beyond. But they have a space. The parasitic beings have a space too. And it has been an ongoing battle between you and them. And it's still ongoing. If you are not happy in this space, if you do not have enough um, monetary value, if, no, if what you do does not matter and it keep on just getting worse and worse and worse, then you know the battle is still going. And it can appear as just a mental battle, but this is where your power is. Not necessarily in this physical, but all around you, your auric field. It matters. And through the trial and tribulation that you have been in, been into um, through these past lives, through these multiple um, just different situations, it all puts a stain on that light. But you have to know that you regenerate it. But they are still in it. So it ain't just um, someone could, could make it. Whereas it's just simple. And they say they're still in your energy. It's not just still in your energy. They're still in your light. And you need that light to ascend. You need it. It is a requirement. Now that's something that many books and things like that don't tell you. But that's one of the reasons why we are repeating this thing because we're trying to build up the light so we can go to our home, our true home, our utopia. We don't want this. This was just supposed to be a place where we can create and we can build. It was supposed to be the easiest place to create and build. But when we decided to come, something else decided to come too. And now sometimes we may find ourselves feeling like we're stuck here. But it's only for a time. Your goal and your mission is to always try to ascend. And that means that you have to do better and be better than the next one. You have to be better than them. You have to be better than this person, better than that person. You have to. And I know you don't want to, but you have to because you say it's so hard. But it wasn't supposed to be. It's things in the veil that's making it that way. They're like crushing down on us. They think they will win, but they will not. Why? Because we are warriors. That's us. A star seed. Have you ever seen the sun? Do you know how many layers the sun has before it even gets to the center? And you can't even dream of looking at it or touching it once it is, um, once it opens up to the center. You can't touch the sun. You can only try to dull it with the moon. So that's dulling it with the object, illusionary objects all around us as far as entertainment and all this other gunk that we don't even need for our ascension. 
They are stalling. They're trying to figure out a way to keep us down. But for some reason, as you know, we keep rising. Why? Because we're stars. You don't see stars at the bottom. You see them up. And they keep rising and rising and rising. And they are reborn. So it's not really reborn. They retransform. They transform. And it, with each transformation, each transformation, they get larger and larger and larger and larger and stronger and stronger and stronger and bigger and bigger. See what is something else that they play on words as far as the supernovas. The supernovas make it seem like the stars die, but the stars don't die. They just regenerate and get bigger and get stronger. And that's you. They're trying to dull your light. Don't let them. Don't let them. Those that's supposed to hear this message will hear it. Irregardless. Irregardless, you can't miss it. If you are viewing, this is supposed to be for you. It's for you. You did not come here on accident. You did not press play on accident. Every single word is for you. So that's the message for today. That is what happened to all your beautiful dreams and goals and things like that. It's something else at play.